The Mother of a Traitor by Maxim Gorky is a short story that deals with dual love, love for the country and love for the sun. Mona Marina's son has become inimical towards his own country. He doesn't have any real grudge, complaint, against the country. However, he wants to destroy the whole city and thus become popular among the citizens. He wants that each citizen and each and every object of the country should know his name and get afraid of him. He is now the head of the troops who have surrounded the city from all sides and are ready to set fire to it. There is restlessness everywhere in the city. No one is happy. All the people are crying bitterly out of pain. The enemies are giving utmost torture to the citizens. They have been deprived of all kinds of facilities. The enemies have brown dead bodies in all the streams that supply water to the city. The citizens have lost all kinds of hope for life. Everything spoke to them of death, and not a star was there in the sky to give them consolation. They were also afraid to light the lamp in the houses at night. Mona Marina herself is not happy with what her son has become. She thinks of her son and her country as a mother and citizen, respectively. She had thought previously that her son would become a great leader of the country and would do something for the nation. But, to her great dismay, she has found her son a different and heartless citizen to all the people. He has betrayed his own country and also his own mother. Marina has equal love for her son and for her native city. But, as a mother her heart is weeping as her son has given suffering to all the citizens. Every citizen calls her the mother of the traitor which gives unbearable pain to her heart. So, she decides to leave the city and go to her son. She finds her son crazed with the thirst for more glory. She tries to convince her son by telling him that a hero is he who creates life by conquering death. But he answers very arrogantly that the destroyer is as glorious as the builder of the city. He has become so blind to the glory that he remains totally unaffected by her persuasion. Finally, Marina makes her so take a rest in her lap and immediately covers him with her black cloak and then kills him by pushing a knife into his heart. Thus, by killing her son, she fulfills her duty as a citizen. But she is also a mother and a mother cannot live her life comfortably by killing her own son. So, she also kills herself with the same knife and fulfills the duty of the mother.